Media Legacy Project. We're at a very exciting point in that project. Um, first of all, the personnel on the project has just increased by double so that um, uh, Adil Ibrahim uh, has just joined us. So now we have Gagan and Adil and me working on this. We also, we promised you, you remember when we promised you that we would have 50 videos? Well, as of yesterday, we have 50 videos on the Video Legacy playlist. So they're there now, and we think that by about the 24th of May, we'll have another 10 or so. We'll have one more from this video that we're shooting now. And so that's the deal. So, what are we trying to do with this project? Well, first of all, one of the reasons for doing this video is to solicit your ideas about what we should do, but we think we have a unique opportunity. If you think about arbitrary beginnings, like starting a project just some arbitrary place, we realize in Video Legacy we have not done that. We started with Homer Smith and that's the earliest point we could possibly have started at. Now you might, might say, what about Richard Bright in 1827? Well, yeah, but there weren't movies and videos and, and stuff. There, there is no movie of Richard Bright or, or the other people who are significant figures before Homer Smith. Also, as you would probably recognize, the video we have of Homer Smith is not one that people knew about before, and so I think we are very, very lucky to have, have this. Somehow during the 17 years that Stuart Cameron and I were in charge of the Video Legacy Project, somebody who had that Homer Smith video sent it to us, thought we should have it, and I'm very happy that we do have it. So, Homer Smith was born in 1895, that's 132 years ago. And we're, we're thinking maybe as a kind of overarching structure or meta-level way of, of, of thinking about this stuff, that we would think of symmetry, the history between 1895 and 2018, the present year, and the future of 132 years from now, which would be the year 2141. And um, that... Um, then would give us a kind of balance where maybe for the first time we're doing a project that is jointly about the history and the future, an equal amount of the history and the future. Um, and what could you do with that? Is it just science? No, I think we, we can also do things there that get into philosophy, uh, poetry, so on. And Idil is from the Somali community, the same community in Edmonton that our current poet laureate is from, Ahmed Nomadic Ali. And so we feel we have a certain <laughs> poetic responsibility. And as many of you know, I provide a kind of infrastructure for the Tuesday night poetry at the Nook Cafe. I am frequently the least talented poet there, but I I set up the lighting, the seats, the I do the videography, so I'm kind of a little bit like the janitor or something. I I I, I have an important function without which the the place couldn't really do what it does, and so I'm 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 kind of proud that we'll we'll probably venture deeply into science and medical science, but also in, in, into history, culture, art, and uh, poetry. And if you want a reason for doing that that comes directly uh, from um, the Video Legacy Project, Donald Selden, who, you know, died uh, like ten days ago and was a very significant figure in kidney medicine. 
If you watch his Video Legacy interview, it begins something like this. Why did you go into medicine? My original interests were philosophy and poetry. But times were bad. It, 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 it was difficult to make a living during that time, and I realized that medicine was a much more practical choice in terms of making money. And so medicine was a poor third choice. That's the way uh, Selden's video legacy interview begins. So similarly, I intend that we would also bring into both our videos and to the paper we write about video legacy the 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 ideas of um, you know philosophy, kind of this sort of balanced approach to life. What should the relationship be between the past, the present, and the future? What do all those catchphrases about, you know, those who do not learn from the past are destined to repeat it and stuff? Is, is there something there? What, what does that mean in the kidney medicine context? What should we be learning from the experience of kidney medicine between 1895 and now that could inform the way kidney medicine would proceed um, beyond that. And then, um, if you say, okay, well, 123 years in, in the future, 2141, what, what, what are we saying? That there wouldn't be videos about kidney medicine anymore in 2141. Why would that be? Well, Gagan took a course from me on the future of medicine, and we talked a lot about what the ultimate future might be. So, in 2045, which is presumably when the technological singularity will, will occur, that simply means that machines will be smarter than the whole human race and take over the future agenda of the world and human beings will only understand what's going on if we cooperate or merge with them in some way. But that doesn't like fix everything. It might take another hundred years to end up in a situation where if you had a kidney problem, you could just quickly get another kidney. That would be one easy solution. Or where if you were unhappy with your body in general, just sort of tired of your body, you know, spent a number of years in this body with all of its limits, you could upload the full functional content of your brain to some other inorganic substrate, maybe ceramic, metallic, you could choose and proceed to live the rest of your life that way. So maybe those would be the two reasons why in the year 2141 it would no longer be interesting for anyone to do a video legacy interview about kidney medicine because there would no longer be any kidney medicine problem. So that would be a kind of symmetrical view of this period of time. So um, we think we have a unique opportunity here and you may wonder how top-down the administration is, like our Gagan and you know Adil just living in fear of me and I tell them what to do and they do it and that's how it works. That is not how it how it works. I think we need the you know diversity, the different vantage points that the three of us have to make the best use of this wonderful opportunity that we have. It's such a remarkable thing that, you know, I, I worked in this project for 17 years, 1990 to 2007. It was then sort of abandoned for the past 11 years. Now we're picking it up again. And in the past few, few weeks, since mid-April 2018, we've basically brought back to life most of the uh, videos that we created during that 17 years year period. And I want Gagan and also Adil to, to give us their best ideas of how we should proceed, 
what the structure of what we should do should be, both the videos we do, the papers that we write, what's important, what isn't, what would the, the audience out there be most interested in. But I also think that um, it would work particularly well if some of you are so stimulated by our clumsy description of what we're going to do and you have a much better idea, tell us what your much better idea is. So, um, Adele, what do you have, have to say about this? Are, are, are you feeling frightened to death of having got yourself into something? <laughs> So no. strange and weird, or no? I'm, I'm actually really excited to see uh, where this goes and and help it in any way that I can. So yeah, I, I think that there's a lot that we can add to the video legacy and kind of just bring back the history and uh, kidney medicine. So I think there's a lot we can do. Yeah, Gagan. So what are you currently feeling? Have you made a bad life choice to spend time with Dr. Solas this summer and if only you made a really good choice, your, your life would just be totally good or, or do you think this could actually turn out well? well I'm pretty excited on where this project's <laughs> going. i um, really excited to work with Adele now and Dr. Solas and continue the, the upload schedule and, and hopefully the captions come through and start working. So looking yeah. forward to working on the papers as well. So I don't know, I think this is going to be a pretty good summer. Yeah, and I think you you can sense that, that the three of us ha have very different life experience, uh, vantage point. I think it's it's going to work very well. And um, in September, uh, Ishita Mogi will be back and she will also be working with us. And there's also Lakini, Hatefi, there are lots of uh, potential people to help us. And, and look forward to working together on a very exciting project that I never could have predicted that we'd actually be in exactly this situation, but I'm very happy that, that we are. So I hope you out there in the viewing audience are as excited as we are, and please send us your ideas. We will incorporate them into what we're doing as well as we could. And so that's this video and you can look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching.